So if you've landed on this video, you want to rotate your canvas in Photoshop. Let's go up to image down to canvas or image rotation. Image rotation will rotate your entire project. You can rotate by 180, 90 clockwise, 90 counterclockwise, etc. using these settings here. So 90 degrees clockwise, you can see it rotated everything 90 degrees clockwise. That includes everything in your layers. Now, if you want to rotate your canvas but not actually rotate your project, then what you should use is the rotate view tool. If you see the hand tool, you can click and hold and you'll get the rotate view tool. The shortcut key for that is R. Now with this tool, you can see up in the options, you can rotate by a specific angle, you can reset your view also by pressing the escape key and you can rotate all windows. So if you have multiple projects open that you want to rotate, uh, select this and they'll all rotate that same degree. If you just want to freeform it, you can click and drag to rotate around. You can also hold shift to lock it into 15 degree increments. You can see the angle of rotation up here in that tool options area. Now, once you have it rotated, let's say you're actually drawing in Photoshop and you like having your sheet of paper in real life a little bit offset so that fits your hand better, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you can actually do that here without actually rotating your project itself. You could also maybe edit some text that's sideways, being able to read it without having to uh, actually rotate the project around. So if you had packaging design or something that had text that's upside down, you could rotate your view so you can still read and edit the text. But if you notice here, when I click with the type tool right now, that text is going to be created on that original axis. So it looks like it's left. But if I press the escape key to reset my rotation, it'll go back to how the document is actually oriented. So the orientation stays the same no matter what tools you're using. But let's say, for instance, I had this text and it was vertical over here, right? And it could be like a paragraph text that I want to read better. I could use R for the shortcut key and kind of rotate around so I can read this text. I could sit here and edit it. And then I could press the escape key to go back to my original orientation of my design. And that's sort of the power of being able to rotate the canvas with that rotate view tool. So you can go up to image down to image image rotation, you can select an arbitra arbitrary amount of degrees that you want to rotate your canvas by. So for instance, I could rotate it by 20 degrees, and this is actually going to rotate my imagery. But you might notice that the image itself rotates, but the canvas has to account for that. So you still see that it created this sort of black border. So if you want to rotate your view instead, you can use that rotate view tool. Now, the reason it created that extra space, if I go back here to where we had it rotated, or if I go forward, the reason it created this extra amount of data here is because canvases have to be square or rectangular. So there is no diagonal canvas here. To do some of that, you would use that rotation tool. I mean, just like any image, there's no diagonal images or like diamond shaped images. They're all based on a square or rectangular bounding box. So rotating your canvas, yes, you can rotate your image by a certain amount of degrees, but your canvas is always going to be square, if you will. But if you landed on this tutorial, those are the different ways that you can rotate your canvas here in Photoshop.